Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to take a look at Cardano and update it against Binance, Polkadot, Ethereum, Bitcoin, and the US dollar. So we've got a few charts to go through to understand where we are currently sitting with the ADA price. So if you love the sound of that, let me know. Hit the like button down below. Let's get this content up to a thousand likes for these smaller, shorter videos which you guys have requested. I think it's important to do a deeper dive into the individual cryptocurrencies so you can understand where we are in the market cycle for these particular ones, especially the major stuff that people are looking at. And uh, we've got a lot of altcoin gem videos as well on the channel, so go and check those out. But today we're gonna dive into a particular crypto, Cardano, and focus on that. So subscribe to the channel, nearly at 110,000. Let's get it. So market cap, 1.9 trillion. Cardano has slipped to sixth. We're sitting at a $38 billion market cap, still at $1.19. So the dollar price is holding up. That's a good sign, uh, especially if you're only concerned with the dollar value, if you're not looking at trading it against Bitcoin or Ethereum, Polkadot, Binance, any of these other top cryptocurrencies. Essentially, the idea there, and a lot of people do ask, is that you want to be reducing your risk. The rest of these cryptocurrencies, is all... 9,161 of them are riskier than holding Bitcoin, or at least that's the way the maxi see it. And not a maxi, but I also see it that way. If if these cryptos aren't going up against Bitcoin and they're going down, then I'm better off holding Bitcoin while Bitcoin goes up. Now, of course, today we've seen Bitcoin drop uh, the 2% in the last 24 hours, last seven days down 4%, and the rest of the cryptos have been doing pretty well. So in terms of their dollar value, the rest of the cryptos are going up, XRP's had a pretty big slog, whereas Cardano down 4% in the last 24 hours and on the week, call it break even, it hasn't done too much in the last week. Looking at Google Trends, Cardano is green and it is getting a little bit of an up kick here in the last 90 days worldwide. The major one that I've seen is crypto at 84, Ethereum's moving up, NFTs are having a little bit of a spell of not much going on, they've just started to drop off. And we've talked about it over the last few days, narrative shift, generally when a masses are in here, buying up their NFTs, thinking everything is gonna to go to the moon, that's usually the time of the top, especially when it's not the major cryptocurrencies like uh, Bitcoin or Ethereum where the institutions are buying them. All the, the smaller stuff which people are searching for tends to, to drop. Similar, which is what we've seen with Cardano, unfortunately, just drop off since uh, a lot of the Coinbase listing and the hard fork and everything was hyping up Cardano. So you'll notice on social media, people won't be talking about it as much and I've pretty much come back to talking about it once the, uh, basically once all of the movement already begins. So we're gonna try and get in a little bit earlier. Follow me on Twitter to stay up to date. Watch these videos. These are gonna explain what we're talking about here in a lot more detail. This is Bitcoin Indicator and you can use it across any market that has data to it. So watch this video here. Follow me on Twitter and join in on the fun over there. I can update you guys a lot quicker over on Twitter. Cardano USD, so it's at $1.19 at the moment. Weekly chart, let's start a little further back. Now I've covered this once before, looking at time frames. Now if you put it on log, you can see the low, the high timeframes. I've talked about this uh, today. I've put out another video. I've got Ethereum, Bitcoin, the crash that's going on across the market. Go and check out those videos. They'll really help identify and understand where we are in the cycle. Uh, Cardano, I've done the same thing here using this, which I've done on Bitcoin and Ethereum, like I just said. We're measuring ranges, lows to highs, highs to breakouts. Now, this broke out on, uh, no, or in November, but I don't I mean, it's a breakout technically because it broke the high, but I want to see the market actually take off, close above that level to confirm this is the time that we're moving. So that time frame was around 22 weeks to this bar, which again, increased volume, or 17 weeks to this bar, which was huge volume, broke. It, uh, it pretty much just held up at 15 cents and then finally broke those highs at 20 cents. And then from there, it took off. That was it. We haven't seen a 20 cent Cardano ever since. Gone, gone, gone. So 22 weeks. I'm bringing that up because we have a low to high, 20 weeks. High to breakout, 22 weeks. Low to high, 22 weeks. That week, I was talking about selling some Cardano, not all of it. And obviously, you know, I got rubbished for selling Cardano. Why would you ever sell it? Yada, yada, yada. I assume most of these people came in 
on these weeks where they were buying Cardano at 60 or 70 cents, probably 90 cents, a dollar, dollar 50. They had only doubled their money and they were wanting these huge gains, which a lot of current, uh, channels will talk about. Cardano has gone up, how many percent is this? 8,000% from the low and you, you know we could expect another 8,000%. Doesn't happen like that. And so all they had seen was about 100%. And so they're saying, no, this thing's got to go up more, 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 more. It doesn't. Timeframes can really help you identify when we should expect another breakout. The other thing with these timeframes to do is to break them in halves. So 12 weeks, break it down to 11 weeks, 10 weeks around there because as the market speeds up, so do the timeframes. People coming into the market uh, start to get less patient and they'll start to buy up these lows quicker and quicker. And then the market continues to shoot up faster and faster until the narrative changes and the market falls the other way. If you want to learn more about this, join the 12 month membership uh, investor accelerator course down below. Link is there. Discounted price is still on till the end of this week because you guys have been emailing me and messaging me asking if you can have that uh, at that lower price before the price increases. So go and check that out before it goes up this weekend. So this is what we're learning here. 50 weeks from bottom to top. That's that range here. So that's a year, a dead on a year. That's pretty cool. Well, you know, two weeks short. So let's call it 50 weeks. I've got this here because we, if we scroll back, we can see it does major moves over the course of a year as well. Top to bottom, 48 weeks. Major top to major bottom, 49 weeks. 48, 49, 50 weeks. Cardano likes to do these time frames. Now we're in a bear, uh, bull market, not a bear yet. We're in a major bull market. It, it wouldn't surprise me if we saw a little bit more sideways action, maybe a bit of a dump to take out some of these weekly lows. So these are the weekly bars. And if we take out this low of uh, 95 cents, there's quite a lot of drawings there. I'll take those off. So we've got a low here, 15th of March, 95 cents. If we took that out to test it and came back to that sort of, wow, that could be low, 60 or 70 cents. Let's say, firstly, we'll try the 80 cent level. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. That is also possible, but it's still in an accumulation wind up period in my books. So it's not a bad thing. It just clears out some of the people who are just waiting to sell any sort of panic. They drop their coins, they drop whatever it is they need to drop. That all gets scooped up so that we form a strong foundation and we can move up without weak hands holding. Because sometimes these are the people who are, who are wanting to sell out or you know they just don't know what's going on and they'll sell it a dollar or a dollar ten or or seventy cents after we've been accumulating so long they if they're the ones holding they probably bought a dollar 20 or dollar 50 and they're just waiting for that price to get back up to a dollar 50 to sell it again so that could be the two different scenarios we drop they sell or we hit a dollar 50 and they sell that's why we'll see big volume at these lows maybe we see a, a minor double top and they happen to sell as well because they just can't stomach holding something for one two three four five six weeks maybe we get there on the seventh week and they're holding it and they just nothing's happening i've bought this thing nothing's going on they just have to get rid of it that causes the market just to fall back for a brief period of time until all of the weak hands are gone then we move again so time frames we are looking pretty all right so we've done about six weeks Eight weeks leads us into another next week, week and a half from now. Uh, I've got eight weeks because we've seen these sort of patterns play out. And I'm just using half time frames. So 17 weeks from the low to this first high and then 29 weeks to the, the price high. So I've got one high here because the market didn't really go above uh, it didn't really go above this first high. So this first high was at around 10 cents and then it only moved to about 11 and a half cents. So it barely went above it, didn't close above it. So I really consider this as the major stopping action. This stopped the market because the market couldn't move anymore. So that's why I still measure both to understand the time frames. 12 weeks down, five weeks up. So we had another big, big move here, 12 weeks down. And what are we? What am I looking for here? Potentially sort of that eight to 22 weeks. It's quite a big time frame, but that's the way it works. You've got to just measure them, keep it in mind, see what's going on, and then understand what it is that could potentially come up from this point and how long we have to go in that move. So again, with these 22 weeks, I might break those down as well. 12 weeks down, 20 weeks up, 22 weeks up, uh, half of. 20 and 22, you know, somewhere around 11 weeks, 11 weeks, 12 weeks. 
if this is all starting to sound like a bit too much, don't worry, just practice it on charts or on markets that have some data and you can start to work with these numbers and you'll see patterns uh, continue to play out. So 11 weeks, if we measure that from whichever low comes in, currently it's this low, boom, we move it up from there. 11 weeks from this top to top breakout gives us somewhere around May. So we've got a few dates to play with here. That's why we're still looking at this as accumulation in uh, on Cardano. Maybe we'll get some fake outs, some breakdowns. Maybe that's just good buying opportunities. I'm looking at a 50% level of 80 cents. So this is the price targets now. I'll take that off log. Major low to major high. 50% level is the 80 cents. If we don't make it that far, which is quite, quite down there, I'll use the fib. So I'm just going to grab this fib under all of those tools. Um, look, somewhere around these levels because this was the next breakout period. So I've got a low here and that brings us to about 83 cents. So it doesn't really make too much difference whether it's at this low or this major low. The 80, 85 cent level is the 50%. Now the 61 is at around a dollar. We've tested that already, but we're not seeing any volume come in either. Volume is another big thing here for Cardano. And so piecing that all together, we have our time frames. We have our prices of potential areas that it could come back to and not scare us out of a position because it's all part of Fibonacci sequences and GAN theory. We've got the time, we've got the price and the volume. So the volume is dying out. We need to see some volume come back in in order to push this market up. And so we look back, we can see we saw big volume come as it begun, uh, be began to break out of these tops in July, big volume breakout big volume breakout above these highs, big volume into the high, and that has now stopped the market. We saw lowering volume, still big volume, but this was the Coinbase week, nothing. And so we need to see that volume come back to push this market. We could climb up on low volume and then break out on high volume. So we need to see these three pieces come together. And that was the point of this video is to explain where we are at, what potentials we could see coming up to the downside or the upside, and if we actually get a solid breakout, I want to see volume. And it could take a few weeks if it plays around like it does on Ethereum. So we've got a breakout here on high volume, but it took another one, two, three, four, five weeks before it closed above it. So that's another thing to keep in mind. They're all the factors coming into a trade on, uh, well, this is on Cardano, of course, but you can use this across any other market that has data. Now, if you don't have enough data, this isn't going to work and those are highly speculative plays. But we're looking at Cardano today. Thank you once again for joining me on another video. I hope you enjoyed that and you found some value from it. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon, join me on Instagram and Twitter, daily Q&A on Instagram. Join us for polls and news on Twitter. Investor Accelerator course going up this weekend. Get a link to it down below in the description uh, before the price increases. That's it from today's video. Thank you once again, guys. I'll catch you at the next video. Enjoy your altcoin gems and your pumps and your dumps. Remember your funds are safe and I'll see you at the next video. Until then, have more fun to get more done.